You know, Judicial Watch has been in the forefront of our efforts, of efforts to make sure that your elections are free, fair, and honest. And uh, we have an election integrity project that over the years has sued in federal court to enforce the law to make sure that voting rolls are cleaned up or states take reasonable steps to clean up voting rolls. And uh, we've had a great success in that regard in California uh, where we just announced this week that we filed a settlement agreement. We signed on to a settlement agreement along with our clients, the Election Integrity Project of California and some individual citizens out there with the state of California, the Secretary of State there, and the Los Angeles County, requiring uh, Los Angeles County uh, to take steps to remove up to 1.5 million uh, in active registrations from their voting rolls. And the law we're seeking to enforce and that we sued under is called the National uh, Voter Registration Act. And it was uh, famously known as the Motor Voter Bill was signed into law, uh, signed into law by President Clinton, and the deal was this, and it wasn't much of a deal because uh, Republicans objected in large measure to it, but their concerns were overridden, that, uh, look, we're gonna have efforts underway to register as many voters as we can. Uh, but as, as a result of those efforts to register a bunch of new voters at DMVs and at welfare offices and things like that, we're gonna take, require states to take reasonable steps to clean up the election rolls. Well, as you can imagine, the left had zero interest in cleaning up election rolls and obviously pushed hard to make sure that registration numbers became inflated improperly. And sure enough, leftists in the Justice Department during the Clinton administration, the Obama administration, refused to enforce the section of the law requiring the states to uh, take reasonable steps to clean up the rolls. So that's where Judicial Watch came in. We filed the first private lawsuits in American history seeking to enforce that section of the law that states are required to take reasonable steps to clean up the rolls. And we had successful outcomes in Indiana and Ohio. We had the first state settlement with Ohio, uh, the substance of which was upheld last year by the Supreme Court of the United States. And last year as well, we had a file-on lawsuit in Kentucky that resulted in a settlement and a consent decree uh, that requires Kentucky to take reasonable steps to clean up its roles. Kentucky's roles uh, were an absolute mess. And one of the standards we use is you look at the number of registrations versus the number of eligible citizens there in a jurisdiction or a state that uh, is eligible or are eligible to vote. And too many states and too many counties, especially in California, had more people on the rolls than were eligible to vote. That's a pretty good indication that there are that they weren't taking reasonable steps to clean up the rolls. And this is where Judicial Watch came in. We sent the warning letters that the law required, and we sued specifically in California to make sure that the rolls were being cleaned up. And our allegations in California were dramatic and accurate because they were based on census numbers and data provided oftentimes by the states and the counties we were concerned about. Los Angeles County had more voter registrations on its voter rolls than it had citizens that were old enough to register. Specifically, according to data provided to and published by the U.S. Election Assistance Commission, which is a federal agency, L.A. County had a registration rate of up to 112% of its adult citizen population. 112%. Entire state of California had a registration rate of about 101% of the age eligible, age eligible citizenry. 11 of California's 58 counties had registration rates exceeding 100% of the age eligible, age eligible citizenry. Now, we're talking California, the largest state in the union. They've got 40, many, 40 million residents. I think Los Angeles County, their population is over 10 million. And uh, if it were a state, Los Angeles County would be one of the top 10 states in the country in terms of population. And in the course of this litigation, and you know, I should tell you that I, I, don't, I don't do the litigation. I'm, I'm not a lawyer. We've got a great team of lawyers here that litigated this case led by Bob Popper, who's director of our election integrity section, uh, integrity project. Uh, he was a former Justice Department attorney. He actually worked in the Obama administration for a period of time. 
uh, and he was former deputy chief of the voting rights section of the Justice Department. So uh, someone who knows what to do and how to enforce the law. And so kudos to our attorneys for ferreting out, for A, filing and litigating this lawsuit, but ferreting out the following information. Los Angeles County confirmed to Judicial Watch that it had on its rolls more than 1.5 million potentially ineligible voters. 1.5 million. Nationally, the total number of people on the rolls that were potentially ineligible, Judicial Watch found to be 3.5 million. Half of the problem was in this one county, Los Angeles County. That meant more than one out of every five Los Angeles County registrations was probably bad in the sense it belonged to a voter who had moved or who otherwise was ineligible to vote or was dead. We also found out that California and Los Angeles County specifically hasn't enforced or removed one person from the rolls since 1998, 20 years. So this settlement agreement, which was filed with the local court and the federal court in Los Angeles yesterday, is now going to have the enforcement of a federal law to clean up election rolls in California that hasn't been enforced in 20 years. This is a major victory for Judicial Watch. It's a major victory for election integrity. It will set a standard and a precedent, not only in California for the other counties, uh, but also state, uh, nationwide for states to take reasonable steps to clean up election rolls. And specifically, what's going to happen is the new settlement agreement requires that all of the 1.5 million potentially ineligible registrants to be notified and asked to respond. So they're going to go a mailing out to these group people. If there's no response, those names are to be removed as required by the MVRA and as affirmed by the Supreme Court last year. Now, they're not removed immediately. It will take potentially two, four years to remove these names. But I tell you, they haven't been touched for 20 years. In fact, according to the RDOC, according to what we've been able to, according to what we what we've been unable, excuse me, according to what we've been able to uncover, over 580,000 registrations who are inactive are over 10 years old. And Los Angeles County was a mess. They had 23 percent of their rolls. Uh, frankly, that shouldn't shouldn't be there. They can, they're basically going to have to cut a quarter of their voting rolls. And why is this important? Because dirty election rolls can mean dirty elections. When you have inactive registrations on your rolls, it means that anyone can show up and vote in that person's name through absentee balloting and other fraudulent means. And in California, they've made it worse because they've enacted under law this ballot, ballot harvesting scheme which allows third parties who don't know voters to collect ballots and bring them to uh, polling places, which is an absolute recipe for fraud, which is why their uh, ballot harvesting is mostly illegal in this United States. So uh, as a result of Judicial Watch's uh, lawsuit, uh, California is not only, uh, Los Angeles County is not only going to take these steps to take uh, these 1.5 million inactive registration off the rolls, they're immediately, for instance, going to now start, forget about the uh, mailing, they're going to start taking steps immediately to remove dead people from the rolls. Incredible, it took a federal lawsuit to get this done. And in addition, California's Secretary of State is going to notify uh, the, uh, the others in the, in, the, in the state, the other counties, that uh, ineligible names must be removed and that they're obligated to do so. So it's not just going to be Los Angeles County. There are going to be other counties in California that are going to have to start removing names. Now, this does, this does not mean that if you're there in a county and you're eligible to vote and you still want to vote, you won't be able to. If you're an active voter, you'll be able to vote. If you respond to uh, anyone's request for information, are you still there? We haven't heard from you. That's the way to get your votes counted. Maintain your registration. 
If you don't maintain your registration, you still will be able to vote mostly in many of these places because you'll be able to file provisional ballots. So this is not a, a, a voter purge in the sense that, oh, these poor people who aren't voting, oh, who are regular voters will have their names removed. No, these are people who don't vote and who are likely moved away or dead. And the fact that the left has hated the idea of doing these basic list maintenance procedures, it tells you what their goal is. Their goal is to have their, the voting rolls padded in a way that allows for potential fraud. That's my conclusion. I, I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't see any legitimate basis for opposing the cleanup of voter rolls, for opposing voter ID, for opposing citizen, citizenship verification, other than the fact you want uh, dirty voting rolls for fraud, you want people uh, who are not who they say they are to be able to vote, and you want non-citizens to vote contrary to law. And the left has made it its mission, its mission to oppose Judicial Watch in these efforts to uh, enforce the law on list maintenance, voting roll maintenance, opposing everywhere voter ID laws, and they certainly don't want citizenship verification, which would be a cutting edge reform and a much needed reform given the large number of aliens ineligible to vote in the United States. And uh, the left has uh, devoted an enormous amount of resources to opposing efforts like this. They've opposed us, opposed us in various states. They tried to oppose us in California unsuccessfully. And it's just little old Judicial Watch taking on these behemoths on the left and in the states, the state governments, and getting the work done. And we do it with your support and the excellent legal acumen of our attorneys on staff here. So this is a big victory on behalf of election integrity and uh, uh, it, it's going to have national ramifications and you'll learn more about it in I'm sure the coming months and such as it becomes uh, widely known uh, but uh, remember we came in and got a law finally enforced in California to clean up the rolls that hasn't been enforced in 20 years. You know why it hadn't been enforced in 20 years? Because the liberals in the Clinton administration convinced California that they didn't have to remove names from the rolls and they stopped doing so. So if you live in California, as a result of Judicial Watch's work, your elections are gonna be cleaner pretty soon. And uh, it's, a, it's a great credit to our supporters who allow us to do this work as well. And uh, we're going to keep on doing it. We're going to follow up in California to make sure this settlement agreement is enforced. We're going to be going into other states that have egregious list maintenance issues to make sure that names are removed that are supposed to be removed. Look, we don't expect every name that's ineligible to be removed. The law requires reasonable steps. And it certainly is unreasonable not to remove a name from the rolls for 20 years. Especially if half of those names, a third of those names, haven't been active and voted in the last 10 years. Unbelievable. So it's some great news. It was great news. This is why I'm pumped for 2019. Because I want more successes like this and I know with our great staff here at Judicial Watch and your support, we're going to have more great success.